happened yesterday? Let's call him the bully. Hey. Pure and simple. Please, who's gone? I am complying with the court order to return Regan. Come on, Regan, let's go. Come on, you have to do this. Now, come on. Let's go. Upstairs. This is taking forever. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, Ellie. But I have to get Regan out of Moose Jaw. I don't have a chance with him. I know. Okay. Is everything out of the kitchen? Yeah. His light fingered mother doesn't take what isn't hers. Check these other boxes out, too, Greg. You, get off the truck. You want to get charged with theft? He's got a right to look through any of this stuff he wants to. Mr. Thatcher, we don't want to cause any problems. The lady here I have an order there. from the court allowing me to remove my possessions. I can show you the document. Not taking this car. This car's mine. Colin, that's enough. Leave her alone. Greg, stop it. Greg, I've taken nothing that belongs to you. Shut up! Shut up, you bitch! You think running away to Regina is going to make any difference?
warm sun and more sun with unseasonably warm temperatures. You sleep okay? The bed's lumpy. Mine too. We'll rent a better house when I have a full-time job, okay? Okay. Time to get up. Okay. Regan. Time to get up. He's with Colin back in Moose Jaw. Colin says he hitchhiked back. Joanne? I'm afraid I have some bad news. A new hearing is being ordered regarding Regan's custody. What? I won custody. I won an appeal. I was supposed to be given a chance with my son. Tony Merchant was able to persuade the court that the circumstances surrounding your custody have changed greatly because of Regan's constant attempts at running away. But Colin told him to run away. Joanne. Once we're back in court, I feel confident that we'll be able to persuade the judge that you deserve custody of Regan, especially in light of Colin's actions. When do I get Regan back? The judge has decided that Regan should stay with his father in Moose Jaw until a new custody order is issued. Would you mind listening to this? It's the Thatcher judgment. I'd like your opinion. This is yet another chapter in the Thatcher matrimonial troubles. As the evidence developed in this trial, it became apparent to me, indeed it was overwhelming, that Mr. Thatcher was determined to win custody of the son, Regan, by any means at all. It is a long and dreadful story of interference, contempt of court, and downright deception by Mr. Thatcher. His methods and purposes have been to destroy his wife in the minds of their children. In so doing, he has gone a long way to destroying the children themselves. I possess a consuming fear that Regan will develop into an unsympathetic and inconsiderate domineering adult like his father if I award his custody to his father. If the child is to be saved, only his mother can do it. She wants to try, she has had no chance. That has been denied her by the actions of her husband and Gregory. I know full well that being with his father is where the boy wants to be. But my concern for his welfare, which is the principal factor in an issue of custody, must override the child's present desires. There will therefore be an order awarding the custody of Regan to Mrs. Thatcher forthwith with the provision that Mr. Thatcher and Gregory not communicate in any way with Regan. If Mrs. Thatcher is to be successful, Regan must be free for a long time from her husband's and Gregory's interference. Colin, this is by no means the end. We still have a number of legal options.
We had a few bodyguards. Maybe a police detachment. Is Regan ready? He's not here. Where is he? I don't know. Six o'clock. He was supposed to be ready to leave at six. He's not here. Okay, I'd like to speak to your father. He's not here either. Where are they? I don't know. Mind if we look in the house? Go ahead. My son, Regan Erickson. Hello, Regan. Welcome to Palm Valley School. Glad you could take him. Uh, we didn't want him to miss his year. I'll be in and out of Palm Springs, so he'll be living with his grandmother. Well, I hope you'll enjoy your year with us, young man. When was the last time you saw your son, Regan? I don't know. I think I will decline that question. Do you know if Regan is in school or not? Wait. I want the record to show that Mr. Merchant has written something down and handed it to Mr. Thatcher. I'll decline that answer and say that I believe I have complied with the judgment. I am going to repeat the question, Mr. Thatcher. Do you know where Regan is? Give the same answer. I would have to decline. Come in. Thank you. Any news? None. Moose Jaw police question Thatcher, his mother. No one seems to have the slightest idea of where the boy is. Obviously, Thatcher's hiding him. Thatcher. An elected official defying a court order, showing blatant disrespect for the law. Like an arrow directed right at the heart of the court system. Can't criminal charges be laid to force him to say where he's hiding, Regan? We've already requested that. But the Attorney General's office has declined to do so. Thatcher thinks he's above the law. And no one's stopping him. Thank you. Well, it's uh, good to see such a uh, nice turnout here. Ah, good to see you, Drew, and if you're late. <laughs> nice to see you, Elaine. So, uh, <clears throat> thank you all for coming. Now, uh, there have been some rumors in the past few weeks about uh, certain events in my life, and I have prepared a statement to set the record straight. This is uh, this has been a difficult time for me and my family uh, beginning.